Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews you can see on the screen and this is MIUI EU edition guys let me show you into the settings okay you can see little bit of lag in the UI I have noticing right now yesterday from yesterday I was using this ROM but once I reboot today little bit of jittering I have been noticing but apart from that I don't have any problems let's see the version here you can see the version 14.0.0.1 is the version here I don't want to check for the updates here if I go into detailed info and sec specs you can see this is based on Andertal that's the version we are going to get for POCO X3 or NFC 4.14.10 perf kernel has been used here this are the version and the biggest disappointment for me is this one 2 GB they would have given up to 5 GB what we get in the POCO X3 Pro update but that's simply missing in this ROM I am saying and you can see and also I want to show this storage here you will get that option let me show you apps and data it okay this if you delete any files it will be go into shared files again you select them and delete from here like that you need to do that from this rom if i come back here again and usually the home screen have not given any changes in this u rom this is a typical poco launcher you get with icons arranged like this you can group them if i go into settings as you can see place new apps on the home screen app suggestions if you want you can enable them backgrounds again there's all the options are there from previously nothing improvement here you can see place new apps on the home screen has been given and that's it nothing more in the home screen and other things the main differentiation will be the wallpapers let me show you if i tap and hold here you get this live wallpapers has been pre-implemented in this particular room all are working fine no problem regarding that and this me 14 wallpapers let me show you okay now it's cleaner okay this kind of wallpapers have been present here they have been added in this particular room and i am using this molten glass and crystallization and other wallpapers are present here that's how it is that's the visual change in the home screen and app drawer you get apart from that nothing new in this particular rom and the apps like health and all working fine even mail also if you don't want to use the gmail you can use this and let's start with the benchmark results you guys can see the app opening time taking little bit of time and scores are also not that good 3 lakh 48,209 and temperature raise was 1.1 degrees celsius and 3 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of antidote benchmark and the geekbench 5 scores are also not that great here let me show you as you can see very very low 489 for single score and multi score is very good 1778 on Linux 4.14.190 of Surya kernel has been used and this is the kernel edition what can I say about results are it's okay not bad and if I go into gallery here let me show you this one the CPU throttling test for last 15 minutes and 2 milliseconds you can see the minimum gone around 116 GPS and average 162 maximum is 191 and it's throttled to 71 percent of max performance and this is a hundred threat test guys it's not that great even the benchmark results and this this will just have results but it is showing reflect on the usual user interface also and in the gallery you get this new edit option video editor if you have any video it will get imported you get a filters here you can use them enhance there are a lot more options you can play around them and captions also you can keep the captions from here and you can even add musics from here aspect ratio if the video is currently in 16 is to 9 you can directly make into 9 is to 16 in order to upload directly into shorts video this is very helpful you need not to install any third party uh, editor app and there is a pro version you get here some templates here directly the video will be converted to that particular template as you can see if you want you can use them as a uh, for normal video editing you can use this app and there are some options for images like this if you have image with sky go to edit and select these are the options you get for editing you can use mosaic text doodle adjustment you can do from here 
and filters again you get many many filters in each of the you need to manually download them and automatically if you want to do that you can do that also and in if you press ai here you get erase feature if you have something objects if you want to erase this line here it will be erased i'm just showing you if you want to erase this line just keep this as you can see now the line has been erased these things are cool in my opinion now if you go into sky again you get lot more options as you can see clear day this will just a static uh, effects you get in the background and even it reflects on your face and everything the whole image will be reflected on this editing those are present in this mio 14 eu rom for poco x3 and if i go into evenings there are like dream scarlet and you can read on the skin there are a lot more presets are available which will help you to make little bit different than what you are used to be and night again you get moon options here full moon and dynamic you can see here twilight and i already sh shown this cloudy the clouds will be moving around the like that these are the things you can save them you can even select this fireworks mode this all present in this room which is good in my opinion and even let me go here and if i go into more options you can create the pdf into i mean the image into pdf and even you get recognized text option it will recognize all the text in the image and selects here and if you want to use it copy mode you can do that even if you want to reverse something you can do that and you can directly save to notes and you can directly share from here to other third party applications like whatsapp and other things will be working fine no problem regarding that and if i go into vote again adjust feature is also there in the image if you want to adjust something that will be auto adjusted you can see here it takes a little bit of time but if you want black and white and if you make it enhanced that is possible with this rom and those all the cool things has been implemented here and google lens feature is also direct available it starts slide so set as well protective watermark if you want any watermark on this you can manually select that that's present in this particular rom these are the features available in this particular rom especially in the gallery now moving into some of the other information like drm information you get level one certification as you can see you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution and security app will be showing within a while before that let's see safety net status fix will it get passed yes it get passed you can use it as a daily driver if you want to use the payment applications all going to work fine no problem regarding that now moving into other settings and here you get lot more pre-installed apps i already disabled the me browser application from here there are some more apps are present here like uh, this me video as i said before if you want you can use them as a default video player it's very necessary to have a default video player once you go into gallery if you want to play the video that will be played through me video that hence that is very much required in my opinion and you can disable that if you don't want that if you go into app information as you can see you will get the option to disable that and screen recording options has been implemented here you only get about this resolution and frame rates is up to only 30 fps what we used to get in poco x3 the stable roms also that is implemented now this is a quick settings panel nothing changed here the smoothness in the ui is still present as you can see all the toggles are also working fine no animation or anything like that has been added here you get a media player and smart hub options and edit options there are a lot more already added only one thing is available here now moving into actual settings here you can see little bit of time has been taking here there is even cn edition mio cn edition very soon with 14.0.6 very soon i will be going to make that video too so subscribe to my channel and hit that uh, bell icon also and if you like the video give it a like now moving into wallpapers and personalization here i already shown you icons you can customize you can increase them if you install any third party themes then you can add them from the theme store itself you get lot more themes so all are free available and wallpapers and again themes as i said before you can install from them again you can choose the lock screen layout i like this one uh, you can add the owner information from here now moving into lock screen customization again sleep option has been given rest to wake is given double tap to turn off screen when device is locked and wake lock screen for notification and power menu access those things has been implemented here glance for me just don't use that 
exit and lock screen clock format again you are going to revert back to those settings charging animations you get low flow off wave the turbo watt charging support has been given no problem regarding that now moving into display again here dark mode option is pitch black condition and search schedule dark mode options has been given more dark mode options if you want to adjust text and backgrounds automatically and choose the app individually from here those also present from here color scheme again i kept saturated and warm nothing more has been given refresh at only 60 and 120 no dynamic option has been on but it will work as a dynamic itself sound and vibration again no new changes here additional settings those remains same sound effects again you get this preset here those things you can customize them haptic feedback also you can enable or disable from here notification control center again notification shade you can choose either for me or android and weather information and ex if you want to expand off notification that you can do from here passwords and security again you get fingerprint and face unlock those are working fine you get both the press and touch method home screen again system navigation if you want to keep the gesture navigation you can keep that if you want traditional method the buttons you can go back that and minus one screen you can choose among these home screen with app drive with classic and light mode has been given other things i already explained to you home screen layout again you get up to six into seven here you can hide the app icons and global icon animations you can enable or disable from here arrange items in recent you get both the options nothing like ios style or anything like that but that's all it is show memory status and blur app previews individually you can choose the apps to blur it out while seeing in the uh, recent apps and show suggestions are available if you want you can disable that if you want to see as you can see how much ram is available you can see that other settings like now moving into battery again you get here balance and performance mode if you want very good performance go to performance mode other than that you can choose to balance and save battery only use the save battery when you're using your smartphone and its battery percentage is low then use this ultra battery saver also but in the ideal condition no need to use that it will drain the battery now again screen time this is digital well-being Additional settings you won't get any new options region again you can see all the regions are available here and language and input also I want to show the languages here these are the languages you get and the, uh, all the Indian languages are also implemented here not all majority of the languages I can say clear speaker option has been given floating windows again this is a sidebar and whatever you call those are options available memory extension they would have been given 2, 3, 4, 5 RAM that is missing here and second space simply missing uh, sorry second space is working fine if you want to use do two, two smartphones in one you can do that memory extension again it's possible floating windows all these things have been explained enterprise mode is given no one uses it that's how it is quick ball 100 mode those are working fine this is how the miui u 14.0.1 for poco x3 let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's quick enough to unlock your smartphone it's not the quickest or fastest as you can see and the face unlock is really quick as you can see again just tap it gets unlocked this is how the miui u if you want to use it as a daily driver again the camera application i want to show you it's a proper miui camera you get all the options 64 megapixel mode is also working fine portrait mode is also working fine even the macro mode and other settings you can see on the screen these things have been done properly here if you want to use any gcam port also that is also possible with this rom and security again gaming mode and all you will get and typically in pubg mobile uh, i already played this game you only get only 40 fps gameplay here not a 60 or 90 fps options are available but if you know how to enable that using magics you need to root your smartphone this is how the miui u edition the verdict is very simple if you want miui based rom and 14.0.1 eu based rom then you can flash this rom and use it as a daily driver couple of updates will come don't know when they will receive and when they will Upgraded, but as of now, it's a very good stable ROM if you want to use it as a daily driver. It's not a gaming ROM or anything like that, it's a simple, smooth, MIUI based ROM that you need to keep in mind. We'll meet you with another interesting video, guys. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.